Hi guys, just been inspired by one of Thomas Kim's brilliant videos, how to make a magnet polarity detection circuit. What he does is he takes apart one of these computer fans to get to the HAL effect sensor that's inside there that actually drives the DC motor. And I thought, I've got one of those, but I'm not going to take that one apart. Back in one of my bargain store projects, bargain store project number 15, I found a notebook cooler at my local Poundland that has a similar motor in it and it costs a pound for the notebook cooler. Now this is one that I've used several times, in fact I used it in bargain store project number 15, which I'll put a link to and also Bargain Store Projects Recycled number one, where I used it a second time and cut the fan blades off it and used it as a motor. Well, I've actually pulled it apart now, which just needed a bit of leverage to get it apart. That's a magnet in there. That's the coils. This is the bit of circuit board. I'll do a close-up in a second. Just there, that little black box, I'm pretty sure, is one of these HAL Effect Smart Fan Motor Controllers, I think is their full name. So, I'm going to use that. In fact, I'm going to leave it on the board rather than trying to desolder it, because the printed circuit board goes all the way around nicely, so you can put your positive and negative power on here, and where the coils connect, I can use that to connect the diodes, the LEDs, to do the same thing as Thomas Kim did. And then I may use it for something else, but I'll just test it out, just like that, to see if I can get it working. I ought to add, in the comments on Thomas Kim's video, failed mum, what is it, failed ma 14 failed MUH14 added a link which takes you to the data sheet for one of these so I'll put links to Thomas King Thomas Kim's video and failed ma 14's data sheet and my bargain store project number 15 and my bargain store projects recycled number one I'll put all those links in the video description so you can go there and check them out I'll just quickly fast forward through the next couple of video clips. Just shows you how I got the fan motor out of the notebook cooler from Poundland. There we are, all up together. I've just extended the circuit with some wires down to the breadboard. Built it exactly the same as Thomas Kim's circuit. The only real difference between mine and his is that I've left the whole effect sensor on the board. And I've done that because the tails are just so short there's no way I'd be able to get them into the breadboard. I've even left the little blue LED on there that was on there originally. So now I've got a blue LED down here and a red LED. And when I bring my magnet past it, We flash blue and red. So thanks again to Thomas Kim for an excellent little video. Got another magnet here that does the same thing. So next thing is to do a project that I can make use of that Hall effect sensor. I won't go through the circuitry because Thomas Kim covers it on his video but I might just draw it up and put it in the end of my video so you can see how it goes together. As I say, the, um, there's a PDF available for download with a proper data sheet that I'll put a link to in the video description. But that's it, that was a nice, quick, simple, easy little project. I like that.